Right now, there are many current and former Hoosiers in Florida preparing for this storm. Fox 59's Eric Graves spoke with them, and Eric, what are they doing right now to get ready for this? From preparing to ride out the storm with a view of the beach to having Hurricane Ian welcome you to the Sunshine State, Hoosiers I talked to are feeling the effects of this potentially catastrophic storm. It's getting scarier and scarier as we speak. The rain's increased. It's definitely picked up the pace. Um, the winds are increasing. Christine Racino and Jim Adderholt are both lifelong Hoosiers now living in Fort Myers, Florida. Both are riding out Hurricane Ian. The biggest thing is just to be prepared. I've got lots of ice and water and um, I have all the pet food and medications I need. Christine moved from Indy three weeks ago. This is her introduction to her dream home. I'm just going to have to um, obviously just roll with the punches at this point. Jim Adderhold has been in Fort Myers for a few years. He's riding the storm out from his ninth floor condo right on the beach. We have hurricane windows, but you, we've got towels everywhere. We've got tarps in case a window you know, would fail. During our interview, an emergency alert went off on his phone telling more people in his region to evacuate. As the storm gets more and more intense, they, they list additional zones that you need to evacuate. They're, they're encouraging you to, you to evacuate, and those, those horns go off. The path of Hurricane Ian has shifted, taking a more easterly route toward Fort Myers and southwest Florida. And there's so many variables that go into this because you just don't know. The storm's always evolving. It's changing. It's changing direction. Both plan to hunker down starting Tuesday night ahead of the storm and for the days ahead. They said basically Thursday and Friday was going to be nothing but cleanup. The heat, the other challenges, the flooding, the mold, and obviously the lack of power. Each hoping they are prepared for the unpredictable impacts of this hurricane. Who knows at this point? Who knows what, what's going to happen? Who's, you know, who knows what type of devastation it will have? Groups like the Red Cross and Indiana Task Force One head to Florida to help. Adderholt says assistant like, assistance like that and anything else offered is critical to Florida and its people in the wake of these storms. In the newsroom, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.